hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel it's your girl v but if you are new here my name is vera anomnachi thank you so much for stopping by kindly go ahead and click on that subscribe button and be part of this amazing family and to you all my babies in the house god bless you for supporting me every day thank you so much so in today's video i'll go ahead and i'll start combing my hair and then i'll just go on and hold it into a pony and i'll use an echo styling gel to just lay it down flat before we start our installation please keep on watching and enjoy your video I'll be using this braiding hair extension for today's installation process. I cut it into four places. But before then, I'll go ahead and use this hair padding that I made and secure it to my hair. So that when I'm styling the hair with the braiding extension, it doesn't fall off or it doesn't move away from where I have secured it. So go ahead and secure it properly with a bobby pin. next step i got a part of the braiding hair extension and i passed it in the middle all the way to the back and then i made sure that i brought some to the front that is how we're going to be making our fringe pattern in front guys this video is self-explanatory so you just watch and observe i'm sure you'll get it very well don't forget i said that i cut this braiding hair extension into four places i actually lost the footage where i did the cutting but then i didn't pull it i only cut it and then i started using it please keep on watching so guys the secret to getting a very nice and clean installation with braids extension is using a comb to comb it very well when you're installing and then using your bobby pin to secure it to be tight because this braiding hair extension can easily move because it's not a, a weave so kindly make sure you comb it very well and then use the bobby pin to secure very very well that way you get a neat finishing or a neat finish <laughs> So guys, as I'm installing, I'm just checking, looking in the mirror and checking to see how it fits my face before I tack in with a bobby pin. Okay, so go ahead and do the same thing. The front one was disturbing me. I went ahead with the scissors to trim it off very well so that I can relax and continue with what I'm doing. So I went ahead and I used the extension as I have already started i'm basically looking in the mirror and i'm checking how it will be nice and neat in front so you either start tucking in from the back or from the front so you secure first with a bobby pin then you comb it very well to make it clean and nice and then you use a bobby pin to hold it very well into the hole at the back you tuck into that hole at the back or you pull and bring it forward so that the back will also be clean as well
okay guys if at this point you still haven't hit that subscribe button we encourage you to kindly do so please subscribe to my channel like this video i want your comments down in the comment section down below and please share this video if necessary so that people can also learn how to create styles especially people into hairstyling and people who would want to learn how to style their own hair if they have an occasion to attend thank you so much guys and please keep enjoying your video so at this point i went in with an extra extension to add to the side so i'll have like this side hair that comes longer than the the one in front and the fringe one okay so it was really beautiful but then i removed it later on so i did the same thing at the other side as well at this point this hair is ready to be rocked like this unless you want something really extra extra then you can go in with something else so i wanted something a bit extra so i had to go in with the bow tie in front okay so guys enjoy your video and please i want you to try this hairstyle out it's so beautiful and when you try it out tag me and let's see how it went on for you moving on we'll start with our bow tie so i went ahead and i used this black rubber bands to tie in the middle and then i tied by this side and by the other side as well please watch guys this step is really easy to do just watch and observe and you learn how i did this bow tie before i installed it on my hair When I finished securing with the rubber band, three rubber bands, so I went ahead and I used the scissors to cut the excess off from the two corners of the hair. So this is what I got. We'll go ahead and then i'll use the black thread i'll roll a black thread out then i'll use it to tie around the wig for our bow tie i basically bent this part of the hair that i did and then i used the thread to tie around it to secure it the same thing i did on this part i also did at the other side i also bent this other side then i used the same thread to tie around it so that it will give me the bow tie effect just like this okay guys now that our bow tie is ready i went further to use a hair extension to wrap around the bow tie to give it this beautiful and perfect effect and then i used um, a rubber band to tie it and then i cut off the excess and then i went on and i did the installation but when i was doing this installation there was power cut and then i couldn't do i wanted to do two so go ahead and do so and this was what our hairstyle turned into so beautiful but because i couldn't do finish up with the other bow tie for the back i couldn't show you guys the back but here i go ahead and make another bow tie and attach at the back and trust me your hair will be so beautiful thank you so much guys for sticking with your girl up to this point i'll see you in my next video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye